Well, today's Monday, it's the 25th of March 2024. We're in Sakoma and we've just spent our first night in the hotel. It's a really nice hotel, we're quite impressed. Very nice. Mediterraneo, it's one of the hip hotels and uh, we had dinner there last night, we've had breakfast this morning and yeah, we're very impressed. So we've actually come to the other side of the bay here in Sakoma and we're going to actually walk out to the, the castle on the headland. But I'll turn the camera around so you can see exactly where we are. It looks like we're just in time for the train, we're not going to catch that now. Uh, this is where we are, we are on the beach and uh, well that's our hotel just over there it's a huge hotel it's much bigger than I, we expected uh, but doesn't seem to be crowded doesn't seem to be uh, uncomfortable it's very nice quite spacious and uh, while well, we're right next to this beautiful beach with the uh, the sea rolling in and it's been quite windy since we got here the weather was supposed to be bad for this morning and um, there's a few great clouds in there and there but uh, it's actually not too bad at all, the sun's shining uh, and if the wind wasn't there it would be quite warm. So where are we going? Well, we're going for a little walk towards the castle and uh, I just saw a signpost that said castle this way, so castle this way it is. It's called the Punt, Punta de Namer and uh, it's a dusty road, somebody did say don't wear flip-flops if you're coming this way. Well, I don't wear flip-flops. So we'll see the beautiful flowers. Just a nice little notice board, which is, uh, so we're here at the moment and the plan is just to walk out towards the castle over here. Uh, it's not very far. I mean, if we look at the scale, it's about a kilometer, I suppose. And what might we see? Well, I think we'd be very lucky to see um, any uh, tortoises, uh, but we do get tortoises here in Mallorca, they do live here. Uh, and then some different birds as well, so we may see some of those. I've not got a zoom lens with me, so it's just uh, my little handheld camera. But as Anita says, she'll enjoy all the flowers, all the nature that's around us. And this is a kind of dusty path that we're on. You can see the flag in the distance there, it's blowing, blowing, blowing. Can you imagine in the summer this would be really hot to do? Yeah, that might be a problem if you're coming in the summer to, to walk along here. There doesn't look to be much shade, at least not yet. There are little breaks through there into the beach. some trees ahead. If you do wander further you may end up in the trees. Unusually there's a chimney over there. The sea is just over to the right behind these bushes so we're getting a little bit of shelter from that. We went away for a few days to Benidorm and uh, had a really good time there. And I think well, almost as soon as we got back, we said, oh, let's find somewhere else to go. And uh, we don't do much in the way of videos on the East Coast. Um, it's just a long way for me to drive and then drive back. I don't mind driving there. It's the driving back I don't particularly enjoy. And so uh, if we're doing it, it's nice to stay for a night or two so we've done it a couple of times in the past and it also gives us an opportunity to visit some different hotels um, we don't video inside hotels so when people ask me what it's like in a hotel we don't video inside them unless uh, unless we're invited to do so or if we're actually staying there so while well, we're staying there so we can do that we're not the only ones on this little journey. 
you see things like this. There is some graffiti here, but what is it it's on? And it's, um, looks to me as though it's a concrete fortification. Piled up behind it with a load of the seaweed, so they have actually been clearing the seaweed. And this is a, a plan to do dune regeneration. Um, sand dunes are notoriously difficult to manage. Um, but I guess piling this up is, is one way of doing it with natural materials. And uh, would eventually provide fertilizer for other plants uh, to grow on it. Fields looking really pretty. Ah, oh, so now you could actually walk amongst the trees. Can we walk amongst the trees? No, just stay to the path up in. Just so stay to the path. Okay. Stay to the path. It's a very uneven path. It's, um, you've got to watch where you put in your feet. There's rocks sticking out of the ground all over the place. Okay. Nita was asking about these plants as well. Well, according to Google, it's a branched asphodel, and it has really got quite cute, tiny little flowers. And uh, we do get a lot of them here. So. See fields full of those, as we do all of the beautiful wildflowers that are over there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I think it did say, didn't it, we could actually do this uh, walk to the uh, castle by horse. So we've done our little bit of this track and then it tells us to go this way. We'll do as we're told. It looks like a bit more of a proper sort of track here because I guess vehicles do have to get there to take in supplies and to remove rubbish and the like, so we've actually got now a like a dirt well, track. Up in the, them trees as well. Yeah, we're still looking out for caterpillars. The only really nasty, nasty bugs that we do get on the island are the uh, processionary caterpillars. And uh, still quite a lot of the nests around. They will be disappearing soon. God, he's got a bird at him. He's got a bird making the noise. Wow. Clever these things, aren't they? I always admire people who can spot a bird from a mile away and tell you exactly what it is. Or hear a bird song and tell you what it is. It's quite amazing. They certainly, certainly don't have those skills. And now we're sort of in the shade. We've got the tree provided shade and uh, they're also 
preventing the wind from getting to us, and it really does feel quite mild here now. It's supposed to be about 18 degrees today, which is well, considerably cooler than it was last week. Last, last week in some parts of the island it was getting up to 26 and 27 degrees. 18 is comfortable, particularly if you're walking to a castle in the sun. What are they called? Asphodels. Asphodels. Branched. There's a lot in the countryside. Come on, the horses. Right, mention the horses. There we go. If that's your sort of thing, I suppose this is a really nice place to to be doing that gently through the, the woods here. Looks like we're coming out though into exposed areas now. Still very pretty though. be going in the middle of nowhere, well actually it's not the middle of nowhere, it's on a little headland that sticks out between Sakoma and uh, Calamillor. Um, we're aiming to get to this castle. I'm told there's a bar there, a cafe. Could be useful and interesting. <laughs> Just hope it's open. We'll see. birds flying around. Really pretty up in these little ones. Had some rain here, there's some muddy puddles. <laughs> this part where it's very exposed in the summer months would be very hot to walk along here. You would definitely need your hat on. And your parasol, and he hasn't brought a parasol because it was looking to be very windy. I 
mentioned the tortoises earlier on. Um, you don't very often see them, in fact very rarely see them. But they are very much a protected species here, so if you do see them, you have to leave them alone and let them get on with their life. Um, quite big fines for interfering with the tortoises. has gone investigating flowers taking photographs of them <laughs> catching me up it's a slight incline here it's not very much but a slight incline but still very rickety and, uh, just need to keep an eye on where you're walking so you don't stumble at least I do <laughs> had a good breakfast this morning in the hotel so it's important I get some exercise now to uh, walk it off I've been doing okay with my uh, diet it's been uh, quite successful I did actually go and see uh, a dietitian, and uh, he was happy with the progress that I've been making so far so it's more carry on doing the right things and being sensible Yeah, some car tracks. I'm sure that uh, yeah, the delivery 
vans have had to come. I hope that's evidence that the bar's open. <laughs> we'll find out very shortly. I'm just getting glimpses of the glimpses of the sea, which is not too far away down there. It's sandy here now. Particularly if you're coming in the summer, bringing a bottle of water with you would be a good idea. We haven't done that. <laughs> hmm. Not listening to my own advice there. It's purple flowers in it, aren't they? Purple. Purple field now. Those darling as well, please. Um, you see what they're called? My well, goodness, can't very tiny little things. I have to get very close to them. Oh, there's bees on them as well. I'm going to see if I can get a bit closer with my camera. This might be an Iron Age. Find ancient remains. I'm going to see that. going off that way. Just looking into the trees, we can see the caterpillar nests again. Just let me show you a bit closer. Oh, I can actually walk right up to one here. Not too close. I'm not sure there's any left in that one. There's one, the dead one there by the looks of things. Maybe we'll come out of the bottom, it looks as though it's empty. But, uh, they usually when they fall they're white. There's one over there that's white. That one may well have some in. Oh, 
and just looking up further into the trees you can see them up there as well so yeah if you do see them leave them and uh, if there's any on the ground definitely leave them they are nasty little creatures they look cute but their hairs can cause really nasty rashes where do we go? pardon? which way do we go? I guess we go this way there's a big gully here Follow the tyre tracks, I think. It's getting a little bit steeper here. Um, that makes sense, really. If you're going to build a castle, you don't put it in a hole, do you stick it on the top of a hill. Some more walkers up ahead. It's a bit rocky underfoot now. Very rocky and definitely steepier. Yep. Not for everyone. Off we go. More signs pointing in this direction. mountainous areas and uh, over to Cal Millor and Calabonna of course which uh, we hope to be visiting a little bit later when I get my breath back So now got some um, construction here. I did read that there were some uh, Caliotic remains, which would make sense uh, in Sliot. There's a huge uh, Caliotic remains there. Here well, we've got some walls here. But, uh, we've strayed from the path and uh, we'll let the horses go by now, I think. Nice little canter for them. Oh. 
last one. I'm gonna follow them along. Don't think I have ever ridden a horse. There you go. Might have been on a donkey on Blackpool Pleasure Beach or a real. But, uh, I don't think I have ever ridden a horse. Ah, and now I'm seeing castle type structures in the distance. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to film the return journey unless I see something interesting, of course. We'll just do it one way. So we're just going to stay at the end, are we? My Google Maps said 15 minutes. My goodness. I think people do walk a lot quicker than me. even as well, that's my excuse. Maybe we could hitch a lift on a horse. <laughs> to another clearing. And, uh, thankfully the sun has hidden itself behind a cloud. Sort of tree they planted. Yeah. In Hanover. Planted lots of trees in Hanover and uh, a couple of different varieties, but one looks certainly a little bit like this one. Mm. Need to be a fairly hardy tree. Here yeah, they're surviving in sandy soil and uh, they don't get watered very regularly.
Olaf. Ja, aber, aber ausprobieren würde ich das schon auch gerne mal. Also dann sieht ihr vielleicht auch nicht. Ja, das würde ich auch mal so bei euch abstellen. Ne? Das, das weiß ich nicht. Ne? Be a little bit of civilization on the top of this next little bit. And there's a flag flying, which is the flag of the Baleares by the looks of things. little push up now get to the top admire the views some parasols and some chairs and pee for parking oh my goodness could we have driven here I'll have to send Anita back for the car I didn't know you could drive here Obviously not this way. There's a little fortification. Maybe these are just the workers here. Let's throw off the this. This is a bar. Have a look at the castle in a minute. I'm going to um, just have a little sit, maybe a little drink. Well, we made it, and. Uh, Nice bar here and uh, coffee. And a little break. And we're going to go and have a look around there. So that's not a very big castle. I'm not even sure it's open, so I'm not sure we're going to get inside. So, uh, anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's a great spot to stop and have a drink. And uh, well worth the walk up here. Got lovely panoramic views. You can walk further out. There is a Looks like a trig point out there in the distance. Uh, so this headland does go quite a bit further out there. And uh, you can see quite a few people just sitting here having a, a drink. And they do do food as well. Well, this is the uh, the castle. And uh, Anita suggested we should uh, play some music here all along the watchtower. So I thought I'd just give you the uh, Jimi Hendrix experience instead and let you have a look at the castle. Uh, we've got a, a school group here today, uh, so ca the castle's going to be full of children. It looks to be quite a big moat around the outside of it, so uh, a little bit dangerous for those uh, children just wandering around there. Just come and have a look at it from a, a different angle. I'm not seeing any heads above at the top, but uh, 
I have seen photographs from the top, so we'll, we'll see if we can get in there and see how high we can get. Oh, I've just seen a head pop up at the top there. I brought my 360 camera, so hopefully I can take some photos and videos from up there. And there's the cafe bar. Very nice. With all the seating area outside, yeah. So a very useful place to take the weight off your legs. <laughs> Well, we just bumped into one of the teachers from this uh, Spanish group that's here, Spanish school that's here, and uh, she's actually a former pupil. So, quite astounding. Uh, lovely to see Laura after quite a few years, and uh, uh, she's been telling us, bringing us up to date with all of her family. Really interesting. Well, <clears throat> to get in, you've got to cross the moat, so across the drawbridge. It's quite a way down. Ooh. And there's no uh, no handrail, so you've got to be very, very safe that you're going to do this. Well, let's go for it. What do we say? Don't look down. <laughs> and then, then we just come through the doors. It is very dark in here, but here's a map which has got all of the towers uh, around the island. Here, of course, on this side. It is very dark in here, but they, they have got some little exhibits, but you can hardly see them because it is so dark. And then just behind Anita here, we've got some shelving and then what looks like a, well, looks like a fireplace. And then just in the corner here, a spiral staircase to take us up to a higher level. Just come back a little bit, that's, that's the drawbridge. And then above it, you've got the mechanism that allows the bridge, drawbridge to be lowered and raised. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, there's so many people here, we've not actually made it to the top yet, so uh, I'll see what happens when the school group goes. Well, it's taken several attempts to get up here. Uh, lots of people, and there's a very narrow staircase to come off the winding staircase, so we're up here anyway now, and uh, looking towards uh, Sacoma and Siliot over there. And this, uh, of course, gives us this panoramic view, so let's just walk around. Looking at the coastline, it's quite windy today, so a few waves crashing against the rocks in the distance, quite big crashing in. down towards Calat-Millor and Calabona over in the distance and down below there we've got the cafe area. How beautiful is that? And as you just pointed out the hole in the ground, I'm not sure how safe all of these things are. This is the uh, the winding staircase that brings you up to the top here. I'll go down there later on just to conclude the panoramic view. What? That's the job Well, we've had a lovely uh, walk out to this castle and uh, eventually made it to the top and uh, we took some pictures from up there and video. Uh, anyway, I hope you very much enjoyed that video and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.